Hey guys, my name is Pierre from KM SpiderAccessories.com and welcome to the Spider Shop. In this video, we're going to be removing one of these that's the 2010 to 2017 RT dashboard to replace it with our color match option dashboard. It is a rather simple procedure, but there's a little trick to putting back the dashboard without scratching the paint. If, like me, you have anything holding down like a GPS station or a, a cup holder that's on the steering wheel, you may want to go ahead and remove them so you can give yourself some room to work with. We're going to start off with a screwdriver with a torque 25 bit and we're going to remove the four screws that you have right here. A little trick to be able to take out the screw once it's been unscrewed, a little flat head screwdriver and you can just get in there and pull towards you. Now you can just get your fingers in behind here or there and start pulling on the dash. Now take the handlebars and turn them all the way left. If you have an RT Limited or an RTS, then you have the gauges. If you've got the gauges, you're going to have these on each side. If you have a base model RT, you've already pulled on that dash because there's nothing holding it back. So this is this one right here. And that one right there is what we have to take off on both sides. If you have a long screwdriver flathead like this, you can actually... Well, I, I've got my hands with the camera here, but if you can see, I'm just going to get that in there. And it's going to help me pull on it. So I'm just going to get it in there like that. See that? And I'm going to put down the camera and I'm going to be able to, you know, use my hand and just push on it and it'll come right out. Since it's going to be a little bit tight to be able to take off the other side, I recommend that you use a microfiber cloth rag and you just come and protect right in there. You're just wanting to protect between the dash and the handlebars. Now that we've removed the dash, we're going to go on our work table and we're going to take out these two gauges and the BRP logo. To take out the two gauges, because these actually pull out towards the front, they're being held in the back by this plastic here and the two little bolts, well, the two little uh, nuts that are there at each side. So just remove that. For mine, it is a number eight socket. I did some home installations over the winter and it was a number nine, so it might be one of the two on yours. You'll want to keep the BRP logo so you can just use that small screwdriver and just get underneath it. it's now time to assemble the new dashboard. I would highly recommend that you put down some phone or maybe uh, an old blanket or uh, you know a towel just so you have something really smooth to protect the paint as you're working. We're going to insert the first gauge. This plastic piece only fits one way. You have right here and right here, the same shape as you have here and here. So as you're laying it down and you put it down, it locks in. If it's the other way around, you'll notice it won't lock because it's close but not in. So that means that it goes this way. 
and now it's locked in. Simply raise up the gauge as it goes, as the two bolts go through the plastic. You want to put down your washer, your lock washer, and the nut. Go ahead and do that on the other side here and the other gauge as well. You want to make these tight but just snug, okay? If it was a tight fit when we took out the dash between the dash and the handlebars, well it's going to be a tight fit putting it back, but there are a couple of things that we can do to give us a little bit of room to work with. For the first one, you're going to need a utility knife. If you can see where my finger is pointing here, let me get my screwdriver, it'll be easier. All right, I'm pointing towards this right here. It's a zip tie, okay? See that zip tie there? It was actually right there where my screwdriver finishes, all right? So all I did is I inserted my utility knife to cut that zip tie and that allowed me to pull on the wire and give me more length to work with. You're gonna have to do that on both sides. On the right hand side it's exactly in the same place. So I use my utility knife to give myself more room. I cut out some of the material. So this was rounded off like that, okay? And I took out some of the material above here and like that. So you can put this on pause if you want and then just look at what I did. And I did the test with my utility knife. I didn't even use a Dremel, nothing like that. It's just to give ourselves more room. So the gauge when it comes in here and the wire, if it's got more room to move up there, then you'll have more room here. And we just want to be careful. That's all we, we want. We, want to, we don't want to scratch the new dash. So we're looking to give ourselves more room to work with. All right, guys, we're in the home stretch right now. So let's get that dash in there. And let's connect the wires on each side. As you're doing the final phase of pushing it back in, you're going to go back and forth from one side to the other. Just a little bit at a time. It's going to be different for everybody, but just find your comfort zone, go slowly. You've got all the room that you need to get it in there safely. So the dash is back in, all we got left to do is put in those four screws and the BRP logo. That was easy enough guys, you went from a dull plastic, black plastic dashboard to something beautiful like this one, whether you went with a full color or carbon fiber, I think the end result will be simply spectacular. Doing the installation for 2018 and up with the BRP Connect is going to be similar to this. Uh, but to be honest, I haven't installed one yet, so I don't know. As soon as I get my hand, as the season kicks off here and we get the spiders, the snow melts and the spiders come out, right as the season starts, I'll get my hand on 2018 and I'll make the same video so we can walk you through it. So, but if you have any questions, give us a call or send us an email. Once again, thank you very much, guys, for following us and sharing our videos. I hope that you're enjoying all the new products that are coming out from Canon Spider Accessories. And we got a bunch more, and we got a lot of things in the works as well for the Canon Riker. So you also have these dashboards in carbon fiber and full color for the F3 series. So check out our website. Thank you very much, guys. Be safe on the roads. Bye.